Hey, it's me, Josiah, and today is the 23rd day of Coco Summer. We officially have two days left, obviously, after this one. And one of those days, tomorrow, Christmas Eve, is also Saturday's suggestion. It's gonna work a little bit differently this time, though. Instead of you guys voting for the next Coco Mix, I'm gonna collect all the like responses, which I'll collect throughout tonight, and then tomorrow, we're gonna randomly generate three of the suggestions and see what we get. And yeah, we plan to mix all these in one, so we'll see how it is. Anywho, today we got a little bit of a special drink. So if you guys are wondering about my summer EP that I kind of alluded to in the trailer, I've been working on that and it's still it's still in the works. I'm almost done. I finished two out of the three songs, but in the EP, it's summer-based, and it's actually based around my cabin. So I thought today, we kind of stick to that cabin, campy theme, and make a, a cocoa s'more type of hot cocoa. And yeah. <laughs> I'll be honest, you know that, remember that one day where I dropped the cocoa powder? Yeah, it's still on the box, <laughs> but that's what we're doing today, so let's do it. Hey yo, and welcome back to another Cocoa oh, Memo. Yeah. Today, since we're making s'mores, I thought I would talk about the controversial topic of how to ideally cook your s'more. You see, everyone's like, you gotta make it to a nice brown, light brown, toasty texture. But why do that when you can just burn it at the steak? It is so much faster, it is so much efficient, and the crunchiness of the like black, you know, burnt sugar with the ooziness of the inside, just, it's a perfect combo. And you can make like six s'mores in two minutes. Trust me, I've done it, and i it's my favorite method, although people think I'm a sociopath for it, so I don't really know. Also, in regards to my new EP, make sure to expect a trailer coming in the next few days. Alrighty, here we have our hot cocoa. A little bit of a mess, but you know... We made do, definitely the most spillage I've had, but it kind of speaks to the raw, you know, campfire nature of it. But you know what? It looks pretty good, so let's try it out. Mm, no, that is quite good. So the graham cracker mixes in really well with the cocoa. It's almost like, kind of like nutmeg, but not quite. Instead of like just a liquid, it has some of that Gr crunchy graham cracker in it with it softened by the chocolate and it's a really good combo. Let's try out the marshmallow actually. Hmm. Honestly, it tastes like a drinkable s'more. It's perfect, I would say. Yeah, I mean, this is phenomenal. I would definitely recommend this. This is really good. And as far as the cocoa summer rating, I think I have to give this a 10 out of 10. Despite the struggle in making it and, you know, overflowing it a bajillion times, you know, the final product is pretty good, but it does take a little bit of time to make. And if you had an actual campfire, this is an excellent idea for like a winter campfire or winter bonfire, so yeah. Well, that's it for today. Again, make sure to go suggest stuff. I'm still gonna keep it open. In the meantime, I hope you have a great Christmas Eve Eve. And as always, stay cocoa, my friends. <laughs>